Hi, I'm Travis Winans, graduate student here at the University of Missouri, studying weed science under Dr. Kevin Bradley. I'm standing out here today at one of our seed terminator sites located here in mid-Missouri. The spread of herbicide-resistant weeds, such as water hemp, required researchers to look into alternate methods of weed control. One of those methods is impact mills and harvest weed seed destruction. The idea behind this concept is to destroy any weed seed that passes through the combine, making it no longer viable and preventing the seed from returning to the soil seed bank. This slide helps to illustrate how the hammer mill operates. The chaff feeds into the hammer mill and breaks it up into much smaller pieces through a series of high revolutions, usually about 2500 RPMs. The stationary bars catch the chaff and the seed to further degrade the material and what comes out of the mill is seed that is no longer viable. This practice originated in Australia. They have historically had problems with herbicide resistant weeds, particularly ryegrass, that is no longer able to be controlled with chemical options. We are evaluating the use of the seed terminator at four different farmer field locations across mid-Missouri. These fields range from 30 to 60 acres in size. We are harvesting these fields just as a farmer would and collecting samples from plots comparing the seed terminator being on or off. And from these samples we are looking at how much seeds coming out the back of the combine and what percentage of that seed is no longer viable. Some of our initial findings from the 2019 harvest show that there's going to be some degree of header loss. As you can see in this video, when the combine header comes in contact with the velvet leaf, the seed falls to the ground before it ever makes it through the combine. Although this amount's minimal compared to what makes it through the combine, we still feel it's important to take note of this. We've also found there's going to be a minimal amount of thresher loss. Not all of the seed is directed through the seed terminator when the chaff comes out the back. This is a very minimal amount compared to what does make it through the seed terminator. This is a picture of one of the trays placed behind the combine during harvest. If you look closely, you can see some black specks in the bottom of the tray, and that is water hemp seed. This slide here is showing data from what actually makes it through the seed terminator. The vast majority of the seed that goes through the terminator is no longer going to be viable. Data from two of the four locations displayed here shows that over 98% of the seed is going to be damaged and can no longer germinate. Most of our data focuses on water hemp seed and almost any weed seed is going to be bigger than that. So if you have velvet leaf, foxtail, or morning glory for example, it's going to be ground up into dust and can be no longer viable for seasons to come. This slide here is showing a picture through a microscope and you can see the comparison of what we designate a damaged water hemp seed. If over 50% of the seed coat is gone, or the seed is less than half the size of a non-damaged seed, that's what we designate a damaged water hemp seed. This is our combine engine performance data that we have gathered. As you can see, there's going to be a higher engine load percentage whenever the seed terminator is on. You are also going to be using more fuel per hour as well. However, there isn't much variability or difference in speed. What we have gathered from our initial results in 2019 is that any tool a farmer can use to prevent weed seed from returning to the soil surface is going to be valuable. We plan to build off of what we learned in 2019 and continue this research in 2020.